This is kind of cool. You can see we've arrived at the attic because of the waste rock. Got the rail coming down here and then it hits this rail in front of us and runs over there somewhere. And then also at the base here, I noticed, I've never seen this brand before. It's uh, Dixie Queen Plug Cut Tobacco. Like I said, I haven't seen that brand before. So we'll head up, look down, see if there's anything over uh, in that area. And if not, let's shoot inside the attic to see how things look. I just climbed up there along the rail. See, there's another rail junction up here. There's a roller, so obviously they're lowering ore cars down the uh, rail I climbed up. You see it taken off from the tree right there. And you're probably wondering where this goes. Those are our packs. And it bends around to an open at it right there with a really old cut stump above it. So we're gonna get suited up, head inside. First, I just wanna show you that. Remember down at the bottom of that rail was heading off? There's nothing over there. There's some the remains of some infrastructure here. Cable, that was probably to raise and lower. Four cars. You got this stuff. You got the waste rock pile dropping down. And then that rail came over and stops there. But you see it might have kept going to here, but that's it. There's nothing else. So your guess is as good as mine. That's what was going on there. But Let's get on the ground and see how things look there. As you can see, it looks absolutely terrible at first glance. There is a tiny, <coughs> a tiny space right there, and then we're gonna have to squeeze down this space. That's, when I say that's tiny, that's, well, that's my light in my hand, so that's tiny. But there is airflow coming through there, so. Gonna drop down and check it out. The ground here doesn't really fill you with confidence. Looks like plaster material, really. Oh well, I'm gonna hit in there and I'll pick up somewhere down there. Oh, there's a lot more cool from the backside. Look at this door here. Isn't that cool? You got the door here, and it's nicely built up timbers and it looks like they even put some burlap down to cover the cracks dust and such wouldn't fall on you that's pretty nice also looking pretty nice is this attic it is spacious level now it's the ground fall these are things we like Looks like that might change though. See a little bit of ground fall here. And the rock has changed. See a track tie. Rock has changed significantly. Much darker now. I'm bending off in a different direction. Very different direction. Run straight that way. Looks like we might have a fault on the left, given how flat and smooth it is. Well, relatively speaking. Okay. Looks like it might be a little sporty here. My friends went ahead. That looks natural. But this is most certainly not. Kind of sketchy through here. 
a lot of material from outside that the rats have brought in. And yes, yeah, it's really messy in front of us. Looks like they went through sandstone, actually. It looks like sandstone oh, all through here. And then I'm gonna climb through this and I'll pick up somewhere right there. I was just on the other side of that. And this is all material that came crashing down. This is not a stope. You can see where they, they jam the support timbers into the side. There's one there, that one there, but those were smashed down. They would have had lagging on top of that, but that was all smashed down. This is not easy to walk on. Sorry, sliding on a rotten log. Kind of messy all through here. And it looks like it gets a little bit better there. So I think we'll I'll walk with you through this section at least. Yeah, there's another one of those notches. The timbers where you say they jammed a wedge in underneath right there. There's another one. Yeah, a lot of material has come down. This is not great ground. I'm gonna, I'm stumbling all over the place. So I'm gonna pick up down there. Just came through there and had about 10 feet of decent ground and now we're back into it with this timber set. You can see they, uh, I was talking about how they, they jam the sets right into the ribs. I passed Graham down there and I've climbed up this ramp of loose soil and rock here. There's that crazy guy up there. And right in front of me, it's looking awfully black. And I think I've got an inkling as to why they stopped here. Holy shit. Wow. <laughs> that's, uh, that's Jeremy's light on the right. Wow. That's rail sticking out down there. You can notice how much it's caved. This is nuts. Can you see how far up that goes? No. I'm in the little side pocket. I think that razor right here. Yeah? They're dropping everything down into that soap. Wow. That's quite the echo. Yeah, it's a hell of an echo. I can't even imagine how far down that must go. Man, so from where I can see down there to as far as I can see up there, it's got to be at least 200 feet. This is, uh, this is crazy. Wow. Her water dripping. And it's falling so far, it hits with a huge smack when it hits something. Man. You see, it looks like they did have platforms out there. Some crazy miner was probably running up on the, like uh, running a drill up, straight up over their head on those platforms with that incredible abyss beneath them. Man. I realized I had a brighter light with me, so there's me with the brighter light. And those are the platforms I was talking about out there. Man, what a space. So that you can easily see that first platform, but there are at least two others beyond it. But like I said, there's a map. I mean, that, this light is 3000 lumens and I can't see the bottom. So. Well, guess what this crazy guy is doing? Graham ran out, got the big rope, and Jeremy's gonna drop it. And just to give a little extra context, while Jeremy and I were sitting here talking, waiting for Graham to get the rope, we heard some massive crash behind us in that stove. Something big came down. Hey, uh, so get that rope on the top of that log, would you? There you go. 
So this is, uh, I would say, on the sportier side. So I'm going to put this away because I need to feed the rope to Jeremy. And then, well, we'll see what's down there. Jeremy's making his way back up from that black void right there. And even he didn't seem too excited about this one. Uh, he looked up. He went out on that point. He looked up and said that there wasn't too much there. It was a stope. To the right were the remains of a shaft station. And then the stope ran down. It sort of funneled into a big pit, which presumably is a shaft. It just kept dropping down. So pretty sketchy, though. Really soft ground and just, yeah. Even Jeremy didn't seem too excited about it. Right there is one of the fun things about mine exploring on the surface. There's a little guy. See his little button rattling. He's got a couple. I've got enough, two or three, that you can hear it. Yeah, you're cute. He's got that cool little mask near where his eyes are. These look so much different than those near us. There is the caved portal, but something kind of cool here, actually really cool here. I want to show you what's inside these buildings. I'll get to that one in a second. I haven't even looked in here yet. Oh, this one doesn't have much. But this one, this one does. I'm actually amazed this is still here. Really amazed this is still here. Big compressor shop. I'm stunned with this here. It is so rare to see these now. Yeah, Joe Bob's have been pulling parts off it and such, but there's still a fair amount here. And then behind me, I think this is empty. Yeah. All right, just inside the portal, and this one runs back long and straight for as far as I can see. No track. Until there was track from the divots in the ground, from the track ties. But so far, I don't see much else. Maybe something coming up here. Okay, I got something. Uh, Unexploded round at face of drift. Well, we'll take a look at that in a minute. In the meantime, we also have stuff around this way and up here. I'm going to stick with the main at it for now because I'm curious how extensive this is. And then we can come back and check out those others. Might be the uh, face up ahead actually. That's crumbly looking. Okay. No, maybe not. Obviously some kind of fault right here. See how flat and smooth that is? Not that section obviously, but behind me, where I started shooting and commenting on that, it was very flat and smooth. Okay, that is a face right there, the head. But there's plenty more going on here. Uh, looks like we have a vertical winds here. Or near vertical. Uh, drops down to there. Actually, looks filled in. 
Not sure what those numbers are a reference to. Maybe OR values? I am not sure. Uh, ooh. So there was something running off here. But that is completely caved. Probably a stope here. But, uh, yeah, not getting through that one, unfortunately. And then, okay, there's stuff that way. I could either look down this winds here. That looks completely uh, filled in down there. I don't see any potential with that one, I'm afraid. Uh, just making sure I'm not missing anything back here. Nope. Just a box of coffee. It's the portal off in the distance. And... What do we have back here? There's some barrels. Strawberry puree. Huh. I would imagine that those do not have strawberry puree in them anymore. Alright, we opened up the barrel and it's full of grains and seeds. So, uh, somebody's stockpiling for the dark times. Don't worry, we'll put this all back. All right, that's my friend over there that caught up to me. There are the barrels we just checked and the drift keeps running this way. Looks possibly caved right there. And a lot of timber work here. Again, you see it's a stope up there behind this, but there's also a lot of rock that came down and sitting on those. And there's a, I'll get a better view of it here. Should I jam those timbers in there? Those are called stoles. You see a big rock came tumbling down there. Oh, there's actually an ore chute here. Huh. That's kind of cool. That is a very loaded ore chute too. Wow. And there's a good view up. That runs way up there. And it sort of levels out way up top there, but I don't think I'm to climb up that. At one time there was probably a manway here that allowed them access. But that's all gone now. Huh. Those are narrow, skinny conditions to be working in, I'll tell you that. Huh. All right, and then didn't look too good up here, but we'll check it to be sure. Ah, uh, no. No, I'd say we're not doing this one today. That might tie into the surface, given the, uh, yeah, but that does. See the, the brush and stuff on the ground, so. Maybe an open stope or something, but that is done. So let's go back and check those other two drifts. All right, we just came from that direction and I'm back at this junction here. Just notice that little bat right there. Hanging out. Let's uh, head down and check this out. That is holding up a lot of rock. You can see it. Right there. That's the face right there. And we have a winds here dropping down all the way there. The levels out there. That is not a great looking ladder. Hmm. We'll 
we'll see about that. We got a lot to do today, so I may uh, I may save this one, and then looking ahead. Yeah, that is the face, huh? We we'll check that other one first. My friend right there, he went down the other one. Oh wow! Look at how much rock that is holding back right there. Yeah, I didn't know it was that bad. Just went down that way. Now I've got this one here. Looking up there. That's a crazy little ore chute right here. It's plugged. Huh, that is very unique. And then another plugged ore chute here. And then that's the face right there. Just inside the portal now. Let's go see what we're working with. I can tell you right off the bat, this is an older one because it's pretty cramped. Oh, that bat startled me. It goes back for a way. That might be the end right there. If that is the case, it's one of the most boring outlets I've ever been in. I'm hoping it curves around. Good, looks like it curves. Indeed it does, all right. Take back what I said. Looks like it faces out right there, but we can check that in a minute. Also keeps running this way. I'm more curious about the left now. The left hand rule. Yeah, maybe that was a bad choice. Actually, it looks like that keeps going. Feeling pretty strong airflow, which I think is coming down from up there. It's a huge bundle of canvas there. Huh. Glad it's not my turn to go up there. The airflow is coming from the drift. In fact, you can probably hear it now. So we're gonna stick with the drift for now, which continues that way. That is a very interesting little side pocket. It's maybe a foot and a half wide. I'm not sure why they would have put that there. Looks like we got more stuff to climb over. An ore chute here. Dumped a bunch of material down into the drift. Just climb through there. And I've come into a chamber here where there's a large stope leading up. You can see the ladders right there leading up higher. There's a station here because, well, I'll show you why in just a second. I'm showing the woodwork and such first. There's a station here because there's winds right here. It drops down. It was looking down the winds. It's pretty plugged up. And uh, I don't have any way to get down there anyway. But I think that it uh, maybe goes in a little ways, but I don't think it's very extensive. Another view of that station here. Pretty elaborate setup they've got. Support timbers, cross supports. They got the works. And then, of course, that ore sheet is right there. We just checked out that drift to the left. Now I've got this drift to the right that we bypassed on the way in. I don't think it goes back very far, but you gotta check. Looks like this might be uh, the edge of a fault right here, given how flat and smooth it is. That would make sense to miners running along it then, since that's a sweet spot for minerals quite often. Okay, well, there's a face right there, so 
That's it for that. I guess they didn't find anything. Lots of infrastructure here. Would have been something to see that rock come tumbling down the mountain. Got some rail fork there. Got rails running out across the road here. Remains of a structure. But following the rails. Come out. There's some cool stuff over here. The fork there. Comes out. A trestle here. Get out a little bit more. A run out on the waste rock pile there. And then that's not it. Got that cool orb in there. Remains of more buildings down there. It's almost like the uh, old timers knew what they were doing, knew where to find. Good mines. Because look at the modern miners falling in their footsteps. <laughs>